Hello, today I'm going to show you how we can add users to Azure DevOps. Because we need users which are going to, well, as it says, use and administrate or whatever uh, they should do, what is their work, the, uh, their work in Azure DevOps. So, first of all, as you can see, I have two organizations and this one is, uh, is uh, not needed anymore. So let me see how to raise organization. You can click on it. And after you click on it, you can go to organizational settings. Okay. And you will see in overview, you have delete button. Be aware when you raise organization, everything is gone you have 30 days to recover after that it's gone so for security reasons i should put the exact name of my organization i will put delete and okay this is it i have to wait a little bit wait a little bit and now i'm here so i am out how I will now get in again, okay, Azure DevOps here, go back home, and I have, here have my organization, as you can see, the only one. Now, I will do some settings before I uh, put my new users, uh, and you can see what I will do here. I will put the exact time which I need. So it is here, Zagreb, Croatia. I will save it so you can configure it if you are organization administrator. And I am the only organization owner. So be aware uh, that you will have organization owner who can do a lot of things here. You can change organization owner, but I will let it as it is. Now let's go to users. Okay, what will I do? First of all, I here have myself and I'm going to add users like add user. You will see that I can, for example, add user like Alan and you will see that Alan is a user which exists is my Azure uh, 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 Active Directory. So every single user from my tenant Azure Active Directory, which is under this Entrykowski, can be added. Of course, I can add someone else outside of my organization. So let's say that I want add user who is whose email is Mary, I have it, user Azure DevOps, okay, one at gmail, gmail.com, okay, Mary, user ID one, gmail.com. I will come to access level uh, uh, later and I will just add it. Oh, and I cannot see, I cannot do it. Why? One session notification. Okay. More details. You are trying to invite a user from outside your, your directory, but the security settings on this organization doesn't allow it. So let me go here and let me see how can I do it? I will go, I'm still on organization settings, to policies. And you can see a lot of things here. I will focus on this one, user policies. So here I have that team and project or administrators can invite new users. Great. And then I can request access, which is not important now. But here is one which is off. External guest access. So if you want to have 
your external users to, to have an access, you should turn this on. And I turned it on and I am now go back to users and I will add the same user again, which is Mary, user1, user ad1, user ad1, at gmail, gmail.com. And if I now put here add, you will see you are inviting users from outside your directory. The user will need to click the link in invitation to be able to, uh, to access the organizational and its resources. I will say add and in a few moments, you will see after tax that Barry is here. So, but for this video and for this purpose, for this, uh, the whole bunch of videos, I will not allow and I will not use external users. You can, but I will not. So I will remove that one and I will say, okay, remove from organization. So if you want to remove user, you can go here, you can click it. If you want to do uh, 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 to more than one user but, and for one per, uh, specific user, particular user, I can go to more options and I can say remove from organization and it say, okay, you will be, uh, this user will be removed. I will remove it and I will now go to add and I will say, okay, I need John. Okay. And there are three access levels, basic, stakeholder and vis visual stu studio subscri subscriber. Where is the difference? The difference is that stakeholder doesn't have to be licensed and it has uh, less uh, permissions and possibilities in Azure DevOps than two of them, but two, two, uh, the rest two, like basic and Visual Studio subscriber. Since I'm going to approach to this whole bunch of explanations as, as a project manager and I will talk with my team, I will use basic. Basic is great thing because everything what should be done in a project can be done by basic users. So I will say here, okay, John, and I will say, okay, Mary, but not that Mary, this Mary, okay, Peter, Paula, and Ellen. And I will add those to my, uh, my organization. And now I have Ellen, John, Mary, myself, Paula, and Peter as users. You can see they never access my, my, my tenant because they are, uh, they are just created. I can choose change access level. So put it as a stakeholder or Visual Studio subscriber, which I'm not going to do that. What can I do? I can go to manage one thing one uh, 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 one time the same thing okay and i can go here and i can say resend invite remove direct assignment okay so, so assignment will be removed or remove from organization but for now i need those those guys to have uh, uh, to have access to my organization and i will use them as far as I am going to explain uh, everything about uh, Azure DevOps. So that's for today. And for the next time, you can expect that I am going to uh, talk a little bit about processes because processes are very important. And uh, I will say to set a process is a prerequisite be before we can create uh, our first project, which are we going to do uh, very soon in a, in a couple of weeks. So 
Thank you very much. Have a nice day.